Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to go through two examples of determining whether a vector can be written as a linear combination of another set of vectors. So for our first example we're going to ask the question can the vector b which is negative 4, 6, negative 1, 0 be written as a linear combination of the following vectors. So the first vector is negative 1, 2, 0, 0. Then the second vector is 1, 0, 1, 0. And the third vector is 6, negative 1, negative 5, 10. So we're wondering, can this vector b be written as a combination of these other three vectors? So in these cases, we can think of this as an equivalent question. So this is equivalent to asking, is the system represented by the augmented matrix consistent? And the augmented matrix has columns that are made from the three vectors, and then the augmented part is the B vector. So if this matrix corresponds to a consistent system, then there will be solutions that make it such that we can use a linear combination of these three vectors to write B. So our goal is to determine if this matrix represents a consistent system when we row reduce it. And if it is consistent, then there will exist some weights that we can use to make a linear combination of these vectors. So we're going to row reduce. We need to determine if this is consistent. And I'm going to use technology to do this. So at this point, we've already learned how to find reduced row echelon form. And with a matrix of this size, it's just going to take a while to do it by hand, and there's lots of room for error. So I'm going to use technology and get the row reduced system. When I do that, I get 1, 0, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, and a row of zeros. So this system is consistent. I'm not seeing any false statements presenting themselves. We don't see anything like zeros on the left-hand side and a non-zero value on the right-hand side. And so this is a consistent system. All right, so by determining this is consistent, we now can say that we can write B as a linear combination of the vectors. Let's find the weights that make that true. So from this matrix, this reduced matrix, I can write out this system of corresponding equations. So those are the four statements that come from that matrix. I don't want to read them all out. That's just a lot of things to say. But the important part here is that we get each of the coefficients. So we get each of those weights. We get C1 equals 3, C2 equals negative 1, and C3 equals 0. And then that last row just corresponds to 0 equals 0, which doesn't tell us anything, but that's fine. So these are the weights we would use to create the linear combination, and we can confirm that yes, the vector negative 4, 6, 0, 1 can be written as a linear combination of those three vectors we started with. We can even confirm our answer. So I like to do this sometimes when I'm working through these examples. It will just ask, can we do it? And I say yes, but I want to be really sure that I found the right answer by finding the right weights. So the question is, is there a C1, a C2, and a C3 that make this linear combination work? So I'm going to replace C1, C2, and C3 with the values I found. So with 3, negative 1, and 0. Then we can just add and simplify this vector equation to make sure that we're getting a true statement. So when I distribute the 3 to the first vector, I'm getting negative 3, 6, 0, 0. For the second vector, I'm distributing the negative 1. I get negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0. And then the 0 applied to the third vector actually makes the whole thing into 0. This tells me that I didn't even need that third vector to make a linear combination. We just needed the first two. Now when we add corresponding elements, I'm getting negative 3 minus 1 plus 0 in the first row, 6 plus 0 plus 0 in the second row, 0 minus 1 plus 0 in the third row, and then 0 plus 0 plus 0 in the fourth row. Simplifying this, I see that I'm getting negative 4, 6, negative 1, 0, which exactly matches what we wanted it to. So we found weights that write a linear combination, and so yes, we can say that we can write the vector b, which is the negative 4, 6, negative 1, 0, as a linear combination of those other three vectors. Okay, so our process here was to make an augmented matrix, row reduce it using technology, and determine whether the corresponding system was consistent or inconsistent. 
Let's try this again on another example. Let's ask, can the vector 6, 8, 2 be written as a linear combination of the vectors 5, 1, 3 and 7, negative 2, 6? So we can say an equivalent question here, similar to the last example. We see that this question is equivalent to asking, is the system represented by the augmented matrix made from these vectors consistent? So we put the two vectors in on the left-hand side, and then we augment it with the vector we're trying to achieve with the linear combination. So I wanna know, does this augmented matrix represent a consistent system? To determine that, I need to row reduce and see if I end up with any false statements or if I can find weights that work for the linear combination. Again, I'm going to use technology since I have it available to me in order to do the row reduction. This saves a lot of the work and lets us focus on the new concepts here. So when I do this, I'm getting the following matrix after row reduction, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. However, now I'm noticing that this final row represents a false statement. So I have zero and zero on the left-hand side, and that would be then equal to one on the right-hand side, which just isn't true. So zero is not equal to one. This is a false statement. We can also confirm that this is a false statement by looking at the corresponding system. So if C1 and C2 are the weights, we can write out the following equations. 1C1 plus 0C2 equals 0. That's across the first row. 0C1 plus 1C2 equals 0. That's the second row. And 0C1 plus 0C2 equals 1. So this would tell us that C1 is 0 and C2 is 0, but then it also has this statement that 0 equals 1, which, as we said, that's not true. So because we get this false statement, we know that the whole system is inconsistent. That means that we would say the system is inconsistent, and so the vector 6, 8, 2 cannot be written as a linear combination of 5, 1, 3, and 7, negative 2, 6. All right, so those are two examples using linear combinations. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.